This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. Thank you once more to Fanhome for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 33 of building Robocop. Uh, in this issue, we will be continuing with the right leg, the right knee joint, and uh, Attach, uh, finishing off the lower part of the leg actually. Uh, Robocop 2 uh, box office and videotapes. I, did it go at the cinema? Did it was it, did it do well at the cinema? I don't think so. Um, I shall have to go back and watch Robocop 2. I watched one fairly recently, but uh, yeah, I, I shall make a point of watching two. I think two was all right, I think three was pretty rubbish, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so yes, we've got the other half of the calf. To attach with our bit that might be a problem, but hopefully not. It's a bit whole page of instructions to say bend that bit down a bit. It's not really difficult stuff. So we've got to be doing that, then attach it back into there, then attach that to that. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. So let's get that done. Uh, after looking at uh, Global Hawk sort of drone plane thing, I don't know what that is. But if you want to read about it, feel free. That's not a hawk. That's a dog. Dog cloning. Yeah. Cloning's interesting. I don't know. I'm not sure about cloning. Interesting scientifically, but I'm not sure about, you know, ethically. Uh, other species. Yeah, obviously the sheep was the first, but they've obviously done pigs as well. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Let's clear this out of the way. Let's get the build done. So parts this time, we've got a nice metal outside to the uh, calf. Plastic bit that covers over the screw holes, which we'll be fitting later. Uh, we've got the leg, which has got the knee now attached to it. Uh, so the first things first, we've got to take up that whole first page of instructions, which says, do that. It's tricky stuff, I know. But uh, yeah, that obviously will affix in there, but this bit fixes to the inside of this. So uh, let's move that screws out of the way, that one over here. Bring that round like that, because that is going to go onto there, the inside piece the right way round, like that, uh, and two screws that will hold that in place, get those out of the packet. I keep meaning to go back and uh, tidy up the packets and put them all together instead of having a packet with a single screw in it. It mean to uh, elaborate them all together to get them to be, you know, a bag full of EM screws, but yeah, I'm not being bothered. So yeah, I might do that at some point, but in all the bags, it's not too much of a big hardship. Anyway, I very much doubt that I need to go back into them for any reason at all, apart from anything else. But it's always useful to keep them just in case I can't get this screw in there. Black against black is not my friend at the moment. There we go, that's that. Get the other one at the top there. About in there. Now, on the other leg, I did have trouble with this uh, ball joint breaking because I basically manhandled it a little bit too much. Uh, not at this stage. I didn't have any reason to suspect it might be a problem when I was doing this stage problem I had with it was later when we were just manipulating the leg apart around and I, I think I squashed it too, hand, too hard in my hand while I was tightening other things so be aware of that at all times when you're dealing with this bit if you, assuming you're building along um, how many of you watching this are in fact building along uh, leave a note in the comments if you're doing this build if you find it helpful to watch me you know stuff things up first so you don't have to i know a few people watch these in place of trying to read the instructions um i must admit i generally don't so much read the instructions as just look at the pretty pictures most of it is quite self-explanatory isn't it you don't have too much trouble with things the trouble i have is seeing what i'm doing there we go, that's that attached on the inside of that. Still free to move. 
only on that ball joint, not the whole thing moving. So now we just need to get that on there. You've got to get the things lined up, posts lined up to go in, but can't really go wrong. That is that. That should line up on that side as well, and all snap together. And the foot moves, the piston bit moves just that little bit. So there we have it. Uh, so I need two more of these bigger screws to attach that together first. One down there. And one up the top. Uh, I don't remember if this was where I was having trouble with the ball joint on there or if it was later on when I was doing stuff at the top of the leg. But either way, be careful. Don't put any pressure on that bit because it won't like it. Robocop being a big, mean metal machine, um, surprisingly delicate. So there we go, that's that. Uh, and then finally, for this issue, that part just snaps over there, disguising our screw hole down there and uh, getting our foot one step closer to being completed. So yeah, we've got that bit that moves there. There is another bit in the ankle that sort of moves, but doesn't really move. It's very tight and not going to play around with it too much. I'm happy with how that is. For that, we've got the top bit that obviously that will move as well now. Uh, so yeah, there we have another issue completed. Uh, next time, I think we're putting the covers over the other bits and possibly even starting with the top half of the leg. But for now, that's that. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I shall see you for more very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.